Hello world, Shelly here and it's time for another episode of Foundation Fest and today I've got another variation of the Tirtur Foundations. This one is the mini size of the Glowy Foundation. Retails for $15 for 0.15 fluid ounces of product in a cushion compact. I've got shade 21N. In these minis, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six different shades. There is a larger size, of course. I've also got, as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna hit send or submit on my Amazon Prime Day cart that I'm currently shopping. And I'm gonna pick up the other variation of this foundation as well. But this one is the glowy one. It is described as hydrating with a glowy finish. It's got some floral extracts, some peptides, and I really, really like the red compact Tirtur foundation. So let's take a look at shade 21N in this glowy variety swatched against a few others in my collection. Swatch time. First up is today's foundation from Tirtur, the My Glow Cream Cushion Foundation in shade 21N. Second, I've got from Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Stay in Place in 1C1 Cool Bone. Third up is MAC Studio Sculpt in NW15. And last, I've got from Wet n Wild, the Tinted Hydrator in Fair. I already cleansed, moisturized, and sunscreened this 49-year-old face. I will go in on one side with a damp sponge, and I'll probably attempt to use my BK Beauty 101 brush on the other side. This does come with a little foam you know, applicator thing. I don't like to use them. No, you don't have to use them. No matter what people tell you in the comments, you can use whatever you want to apply your makeup. And <laughs> now I will caution you, this is the same as the other, the red version of this compact. It doesn't have a very satisfying snap close. So you really wanna make sure that when you close this thing, you press it all the way because they'll dry out. They dry out very easily, just cushions in general. So since there's no like audible click, you know, to give you that satisfying like confirmation that you've clicked it all the way, just make sure you press it really, really well to make sure it's in there. I have not applied any primer today. We are just gonna go in with the glow and see how we end up. I also got a lot of comments that I applied too much of the red Tear Tear foundation, uh, which is funny because I loved it the whole way through. I found it to be gorgeous. So who cares if I applied too much? But uh, again, I'm going to remind you that you should wear your makeup however you want to wear your makeup. There are no rules. Do what makes you feel good. Do what you like. And I'm gonna go for a medium-ish coverage today. So I'm gonna pop into here with my damp sponge. Oh, I got some on the side. That's gonna be a hot mess. It's okay though. Now, the other version of the Tear Tear Foundation, even though it is a semi-matte, it was plenty hydrating for my dry skin. So I would expect this one to be even more hydrating since you know, this one's the one that is glowy and made to be for dry skin. Gonna try to do just half my face. I am gonna take this up as concealer as well. I don't remember the first one being as light as this one is, but maybe it was, I don't remember. It's definitely glowy. It is highly fragranced. The fragrance dissipates quickly, uh, but it's perfumey. It smells perfumey. All right, I would say it's pretty light coverage with a damp sponge. I can still see sunspots coming through, but if you look side to side, I am getting some decent redness correction here. Let's go in and just dip in with the brush and see where we end up. The bigger cushion is a little bit easier to get the brush into. Not surprisingly, but this one's not bad as far as size wise. So like if you compare the, the head of this brush, I can, I can press a good amount of the brush into the cushion. So I think the small one is just fine. I do like the option to have a smaller size 
because that actually makes it a lot easier to buy multiple shades if you self tan or you want to match yourself across seasons and then you don't have to invest in the larger sizes that could go bad before you get to use them all. Uh, I'm not self tanning right now as you can tell. <laughs> I'm pale as they come. Yeah, this is pretty perfumey. It's it's pretty perfumey, just like the red one. Very glowy finish. Um, I'm trying to decide if there is more coverage with the brush. Maybe just a smidge more. But I actually like the look with the sponge. So we're going to build up coverage a little bit and go in with the sponge. Try to build it up on my blue blood vessel here. I'm just gonna tap out the brush application. Let's try to get my a little more coverage on my sunspots over here. It does build a little bit. I think the red one had a little bit more coverage right off the bat. And I applied it the same way. So take that for what it's worth. I'm gonna get a little bit, I have some mosquito bite remnants over here that I'm gonna try to cover up. I'm trying to get my little discoloration on my neck. All right. So, let's take a look. Make sure you close it all the way. Let's take a look at this. All right, let me zoom you guys in. So you can see what I am seeing. Definitely glowy. They were not not kidding about the glow. I would call this pretty light coverage. I feel like on my forehead it might be I don't know, it's it's settling down. It it looks like it might be sitting on top of the skin for a minute, but I just gave it a couple presses with the sponge and it is settling down. Yeah, pretty light coverage. I would call this light coverage. Even though it's a dewy finish, I feel like it's doing a nice job at blurring pores and texture. Nothing seems to be jumping out at me as accentuated, which is good. It does not seem to be moving into lines. We'll see if it settles as I wear it for a little while. It does not seem to be caking up in between my eyebrows. Even my nose looks okay. It's not settling into any pores there. It, it is it is looking nice. It's very dewy. Very, very dewy. Like this is dewy to the point where my inclination would be to set it with powder. We're going to see. If it sets down itself and doesn't feel tacky, then I will not set it with powder. But if I can't blend powder on top of it, then I will set it a little bit. I'll let you know in a moment when I come back after I put my face on. So let's check the time. It is 2.33. Let me put the rest of my face on. I will be right back. Back with the Turtur Glowy Foundation. I did not have to set it with powder. It did set down and I was able to blend powders on top of it fine. So that is a good thing. It is not sticky or tacky at all. Set down completely. Still has that luminance to it, that glowy look to it. It is pretty glowy. I still, on a regular day, might do one quick pass with powder just to take it down one little notch, but I think overall it is doing what it says and looking nice. It did settle a little bit into my deepest chin line, but I was able to tap that out and it didn't go back. So uh, it was doing the same thing to my crow's feet on this side, my deeper ones. Uh, but I only had to tap it out once, so it really was probably just excess product, and it's it has not been moving around since it's set. And everything seems to be going all right. On the rest of my face, I've got the Essence Kissed by the Lights bronzer. This is in Star Kissed, Flawless Juicy Watermelon Blush. I'm sure you are shocked. Different highlight, though. Wet n Wild Date or Dominate. This is the liquid highlight. I just used a tiny little bit. Then my eyes, I broke one of, well, it came broken. I broke the green one, the green one broke, but I put alcohol in there and it's, it's drying now, so I hope it'll be okay. This is the 
Pokemon Colourpop eyeshadow palette. It's gorgeous. The glitters are freaking amazing. They're so beautiful. If you missed this, I did do this eye look on Wednesday. So go back my previous one video back and you should be able to see how I got this eye look, which is very, very classic for me. Pinks and purples, again, shocker. And my tight line is the Essence Stay and Play. My mascara is Polite Society. My lip is the Pokemon ColourPop Thunderbolt PH Color Changing Lip Balm. My brows are the L'Oreal 24 Hour Brow Lamination. It's just not quite enough hold for me. Do you see how this one's just falling down just a little? It's almost enough hold, it's close. But me and, me and my elf brow lift are gonna have to remain buddies because I just need a little bit more hold, just a little bit more. Is that all I have on my face? I'm looking at my camera. I'm looking on my vanity. I think that's everything. Your girl needs a sandwich, so that's gonna happen. And I got my Jeep back, yay. <sighs> yeah, if you watched last week's videos, you saw that my Jeep coolant system exploded. I mean, that's a dramatic way to say it. It didn't explode. Well, it did kind of explode, but it didn't like, not like fire or anything. So I was without my Jeep for a week, but it got fixed and it was all covered under warranty. Thank goodness I just had to pay my deductible on my extended warranty. So gonna go get a sandwich. Then I'll do a daylight check-in. We're supposed to have a bunch of thunderstorms today, so I don't know if that's gonna happen. It's still sunny out right now. I'm looking past you out the window. And uh, then I will come back tonight and give you guys my final thoughts. Hey guys, out here with the Turtur Glowy Foundation. Am I glowing? What do you think? It is 100 degrees out here right now, literally. The real temperature, not the real feel. That's gotta be over 100 now. It is hot. Here's our color match. I'm kind of like in diffused sun. I don't know if I can get any uh, direct sunlight. Let's, let's try. Ah, maybe, whoa, as I fall down in my lawn. Here we go. Looks pretty nice. All right, it's about four o'clock right now. Did I say that already? I don't remember, but uh, so it hasn't been too long, but I'm going back in the air conditioning. So <laughs> that's, that's the daylight check-in right there. All right, I will see you guys later tonight. 10.33 p.m. That puts us right around the eight hour mark. Let's take a look at how the Turtur Glowy version held up. Now, of course, I feel the need to directly compare it to the red version of the Tear Tear Foundation, and I think it is very pretty, very glowy, very comfortable, not drying for dry skin. I feel very hydrated, but I think it wears a bit less well or breaks down a bit faster than the red one and it moves around just a little bit more. I've got a little bit of settling going on into my, my deeper chin lines, but it's very minor. Tiny little bit of clinging to some peeling I have under my chin as well, but minor. Let me zoom you guys in. You can see what I'm seeing. It has worn off a little bit on my nose, mainly because I had to blow my nose. Are you surprised? Thank you, Pollen. The, my blush bronzer highlight are a little bit faded, which is part of why I think this one does move around just a little bit more. Doesn't quite degrade or have as long of a wear time as the red one, but I would say that generally speaking, everything still looks pretty smooth. It is broken down a little bit on my chin, but it's not really settling any place else. It's not really breaking down any place else. It, it it held up fairly well. Now we're only at the eight hour mark. So, and I, I do think it's like near the end of its useful life at this point. 
Uh, so I wish it had a little bit longer of a wear time, and of course I'm comparing to the red version, but it is a more glowy product and they do tend to break down faster. So if I had to give a grade to the tier tier glowy version, the white compact, or I guess white, silver, what would you call this? I'm going to give it an A-. minus. It's really pretty. It's really comfortable. I like it. There you have it. <laughs> That's all I have to say. It's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I like you. I like that you can buy the minis. So uh, A minus it is for the white version. I've also got the pink version coming, which I think is the one that they call semi matte. So that one will be coming soon. What do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments. What do you want me to review? What do you want me to pick up? I keep a running list. I buy stuff whenever I can. So let me know what you'd like to see. Check me out on Patreon. By the time you see this, the Amazon Prime sale will be over, but that's where I had all my Amazon Prime listings and all my links and all my recommendations. I post sales and extra stuff that I find over there. So hit me up over there. And as always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.